Another day, another cyclist gets hauled off the road by a reckless driver. I mean, this is a wild ass video that we're gonna have a look. It has gone quite viral over the last week or so. Yeah, I haven't seen the full video, but let's have a look at it. But before we take a look at this video, I gotta thank the sponsor of today's video. Guys, if you've always wanted to dip your toes into the world of trading, you can now do so with the Okta FX Trading app because I think they have some really useful features and tools to help beginners navigate the precarious waters of trading. What I really like about Okta FX is that it's super user friendly and it's very easy to get accustomed to the interface as you can see. Like it's simple and straightforward and very easy to navigate. OctaFX also provides a demo account with virtual money which is perfect for new traders who would like to test new strategies without any risks. Just gonna buy some ETH with my virtual money and boom. Done. But of course, trading comes with inherent risks and there is no guaranteed way of becoming rich overnight without any knowledge or prior experience. So please, please only invest what you can afford. Do not squander your hard-earned money away. I'm not gonna act like a trading guru or a pro, I only dabble slightly in trading. But here is what OctaFX provides. OctaFX also provides a ton of educational materials such as live trading sessions, market analysis and online webinars, which I personally find very useful. So if you are keen to start your investment journey, download the OctaFX trading app in the link in the description. To sign up for free and use this code to double your bonus on your first deposit. Alright, let's take a look at the video. The dash cam video of the altercations between a female cyclist and a female driver at Katong. Let's see. So we can see the cyclist over here. That is the cyclist in question. So the driver passes her. I think I heard the cyclist say something. That was the voice of the cyclist. You heard that? The cyclist said, Excuse me! Something like that. But the cyclist was definitely trying to get the attention of the driver. Yeah, it sounded like the cyclist said, Excuse me! Okay! It's like, oh, okay, okay, that's how you want to do it, okay! But I don't really see went wrong here. I mean, I'm not really familiar with traffic law. So guys, is the driver in the wrong over here? I mean, there was ample space given to the cyclist, right? Yeah, but for some reason, the cyclist thought it was an error on the driver's part. So the driver then continues driving, ignoring the cyclist. And the driver actually drove for quite a while before stopping. This is like, what, 100 meters? 200 meters? And the driver comes to a stop at the traffic light. And then boom, here comes Mr. Cyclist. I had to imagine that the cyclist actually locked eyes on this car and like fervently chased it down so that she could tell her peace of mind. You know, that just seems so comical. Like yeah, the cyclist getting so triggered by the driver that she had to chase it down for like 100 meters just so that she could scold her. As we've seen from the video, the driver actually took quite a while. Like she drove for quite a bit before coming to a stop. So imagine just driving and there's a cyclist, you know, having a full blown rage episode you know chasing you down on a bicycle shortly after the cyclist approached the driver chaos ensues but i went on the side no you, you don't overtake on the bed the cyclist was saying, no, you don't overtake on the bend, it was a single lane, insinuating that the driver was in the wrong, right? But I really don't know, guys. Let me know who's in the wrong here. It was the driver at fault for overtaking the cyclist at this bend, right? So this is where the driver overtook the cyclist, like right here. It's where the driver overtook the cyclist. And that's what caused the cyclist to have a full-on fit. So the cyclist said, yeah, you do not overtake on the bend. And then she just goes full turbo insane mode. But I went on the side. No, you, you don't overtake on the bed. You realize that, right? No. Oh, poor driver. She sounds so innocent and sweet. Cyclist is like, you don't overtake on the bed. You know that, right? That's a single lane. And then poor driver was like, no. <laughs> she sounds so sweet and innocent. You realize that, right? No. Move it. Oh shit, what was that? Did the driver hit the cyclist? Sounded like something collided with something. Let's play that back. Yeah, it sounded like the driver hit the cyclist. But you hit my car! You hit my car, you put your face in front of me! Yes, and you're being so aggressive! I'm if, you, if, you, if you almost... If I you already was, said I'm sorry, please! I mean, just don't do that! Okay, maybe driver isn't so sweet after all. It sounded like the driver just exploded like a can of beans dropping on the floor. <laughs> oh, that was unexpected. The driver sounded so sweet and innocent and so like, Oh no, it's not my fault. I didn't know. And then she just goes, Stop fucking touching my car! Oh, 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 oh. 
Oh shit. Yeah, shit got real deep real quick. Oh, she did not take her bicycle away. That's a big oopsie. You never take a bicycle away from a cyclist. That's like taking a milk bottle away from a baby. That's like taking filters away from a TikTok content creator. That's a big no-no. That's blasphemous. The driver just went out, grabbed the bicycle and chucked it to the side of the road. <laughs> Yeah, the driver seems very flustered and in a state of panic right now. Obviously, she's not very used. Who is, right? Not everyone is used to, like, you know, stress and tension like this when it comes to public conflict like that. So driver is clearly very flustered, very vexed. Look at the way she walks. She's extremely stressed out right now. She just wants this incident to be over and done with. Let's see what she does next. Okay, so the driver reverses. Everyone around her starts honking her. Everyone's just going crazy. Cyclist is in shock. Not sure why. Oh shit, this is when things get crazy. So the driver just persists on and continues driving a car. And cyclist does a body slam on the car bonnet. For some reason, the cyclist just decides to hop on the car bonnet and guess in a bit to try to stop the driver from driving off because the cyclist wants to end this confrontation, wants to settle this here and now, but driver just isn't having it. Driver just wants to get the fuck out of there. So she continues driving even when the cyclist is on the car car's bonnet. Guys, we have a sneak peek at the new Fast and Furious number 11. New sneak peek for the trailer, Fast 11, out in theatres in 2025. Exclusive sneak peek here on the Sneaky Sushi channel of the new Fast and Furious movie. You guys are welcome. I mean, <laughs> this just looks straight out of a fucking action movie or a comedy movie. I don't know. It's all blending in together. But yeah, it's so crazy seeing this. I feel like I'm watching a comedy action. Soon after, the driver stops and pulls off to the side of the road. Cyclist continues holding the windshield wiper of driver's car. But you know, I think the tide just turned instantly when the driver took off. At first, the cyclist seemed like she was the dick, like overreacting, you know, being so aggressive with the driver. But then driver did a massive oopsie, a massive blunder, and just being such a reckless driver by deciding to continue driving even when the cyclist is on the front of a car. She shouldn't have done that. That's just so extremely dangerous. Like I said, I'm always poking fun at things like this, but this is a very, very dangerous situation. Yeah, the driver just did a big blunder, a big whoopsie for driving off like that. She should not have drove off with the cyclist in the front of a car. That's extremely dangerous. But I think, yeah, the driver was just in a state of panic because the cyclist was being so aggressive. There are no winners in this situation. Both are fucking idiots. One is being so overreactive and being so aggressive. The driver is just making stupid decisions. The driver should have just sat and wait. Either called the authorities or settled the incident right then and there and now instead of just driving off and trying to sweep the problem under the rug. That's just the worst way to handle this situation. I gotta watch that again though. That oh my god, this is just so hilarious. Isn't this the best thumbnail? What a perfect thumbnail. Holy crap. Yeah, also the balls of this cyclist to just hop onto the bonnet. She really doesn't want to let this go. She's just so filled with rage. She just wants to confront the driver, even at the expense of endangering her own life. <laughs> Good golly G. <laughs> Look at that fine A-class acting. That's deserving of an Academy Award. She's hyperventilating. I mean, she's already safe, right? But for some reason, she's not letting go of the windshield wiper. Dramatic much? Uh, would you please get her off? Thank you. <laughs> this auntie staring at her like, why are you holding on to the wiper? What are you doing? Are you okay? This uncle checks it out a bit, realizes that it's boring and he just fucks right off. 
the cyclist is still holding onto the windshield wiper. I think that's a little bit too much. That's a little bit over dramatizing things. There you have it, guys. Yeah, really, I don't think there are any winners in this situation. Both were at fault. Yeah, let me know, guys, in the comments. Like at the start, was the driver actually in the wrong for overtaking the cyclist like that? It seemed okay to me. I feel like the cyclist got a bit too heated. And she reminds me of the COVID batch lady who was just acting so entitled and superior. But uh, yeah, I thought this was an interesting video to watch and review. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys soon. Bye.